Hello, I am Christine Pierce, and I have the wonderful privilege of teaching your child math this year. I have been teaching for 30 years, and I've been at Judkins for over 20. Both of my sons, who are now 23 and 21, are proud Judkins graduates. One went through the music program and then became drum major at Rio Grande High School, and the other went through the drama program with Mr. Lebo and is still enjoying being involved in drama at the college level. He'll be graduating this year. Other son graduated last year. So I know both sides. I do know the parent side, and of course I know the teacher side. You have a lot to be glad about. I am so, so pleased that you have found yourself in the Judkins family. First off, I want you to know that I am very available for your children and for you to answer questions. I am easily giving my phone number out and I've saved many, many contacts in my phone. Please call or text me whenever you have a concern and I will get back to you. You will not disturb me. I don't keep my phone near me when I'm trying to relax. But if I have my phone near me, then hopefully I can answer your questions quickly. My number is 805-710-6571. 805-710-6571. It's a lot faster than an email. Emails sometimes I don't get to until all the other live active things in my life are taken care of. And you might feel the same way these days. So putting you at ease is my number one priority. Putting you, meaning your child, and the parents at ease. There will be wonderful learning happening this year. I want to share with you my mindset. A growth mindset is something that we are promoting with your children. I've always known it, that everybody can achieve math and learn math at high levels, but now there's statistical data that proves it. So we want to share that. There's a wonderful British mathematician uh, her name is Jo Bowler, and she's out of Stanford. And we're going to be sharing all the wonderful knowledge that she has gained more recently on how the brain actually learns and builds and how it affects math specifically. I know that some parents may not have this information. And also, I've been teaching now at Judkins for 21 years since my son Tony was three months old. So I'm on second generation Judkins students. I am now teaching the children of my former students. So that's exciting. So if I got to teach you, hello! I hope that you're doing very well and love to hear more about life for you. But as we learn these new things, we don't want to embrace old ideas. We want to embrace the new ideas. This year in math, your child will be reviewing and learning everything from whole number addition all the way through basic geometry. So math will probably be the most challenging class for your child. We have a significant amount of work that needs to be done and we call that work practice because every new skill takes practice. We are also asking that every single problem your child does, they get to the right answer eventually. It's totally fine if they make mistakes. We're actually gonna embrace the idea of mistakes being a great way to help our brains grow and students learning from those mistakes. Um, but we have a way to re-correct any problem that's wrong. So we want to have your students do their work with space in between so that they can rework the problem next to it in pen and put a highlighted box around it to draw the attention to the right work. And they can analyze what they did right and then where they had something that they wanted to do differently and then learn from that mistake. So that's what we're doing. With that, your child is going to need to show work for all the work that they do. So regular notebook paper is really important. The clean kind, I know that spirals are also another idea. You're gonna to have to keep on top of the spirals. With these, you can keep it in the three ring binder and you can change the order if need be. So the supplies that your child is going to be using, please never throw away anything for math. We're gonna have several different supply sources and I'm gonna show you our organizational skills right now, how we have things set up for you. First off, we have the hardbound book. This is the textbook. This textbook is pretty cool in that it's got, this is the teacher's edition, so you can't see it as well, but it's got different color examples and explanations. It's got a great glossary. In the back of the book, there are 
the odd numbered answers. So selected answers, all the odds for all the questions that are odd numbers are in the back of the book. And students can check to see, hey, am I getting it right? And that gives them more confidence. We're also going to be using the online version of the textbook for students to do work on notebook paper and then plug in their answers on the computer and they're going to be graded with that for accuracy. So say it's 10 questions they have to do and they get eight of them right. Well, that means two problems they didn't get right, so they should have two highlight boxes where they've recorrected the ones they had wrong. Maybe we're taking a test and your child got a B. That's great. However, that means they missed something, so they're going to learn from what they didn't quite get right yet. Everything with a growth mindset is you don't know it yet, and all it takes is a little practice, and then you will know it. Uh, if you've seen the students doing around the house the skip counting, that's really important. One of the basic things that students need to come to me with is a fluency in math facts for multiplication from 1 times 1 up to 12 times 12. So I use music. I'm actually a voice major. I love to sing and I use music to help the students understand and remember what we're doing for the math. There's a lot of foundational skills that I want to make sure are solid, solid, rock solid for your child in the future. For example, whole number operations, decimal operations. We've been doing those with the window quiz. That stands for whole number and decimal operations. Uh, fractions. We've just started reviewing fractions. And integers. Integers are positive and negative numbers, and that's what we're going to do in chapter one. So we're going to be using the online textbook and the hardbound textbook as resources. But then we've got another wonderful resource from our book company. The book company is Big Ideas. This is our workbook. This workbook we're going to write directly in. For example, we are going to be showing steps as we go in the workbook so that students can see and take notes right in the workbook. If your children having uh, colored pens to correct and highlighter would also be great just so that they can pay attention and follow along. And then we have lesson work where they're going to be practicing here in the workbook. So maybe we start the first few problems on this page that's 1.2 practice. That means it's section number one, uh, sorry, chapter number one, section two on practicing adding integers. And we're going to show them how to do the work and then they're going to do the work. I will be checking their workbook when we come back into session. So if I ask them to write something down or if you see me writing something down in a lesson and you see your child not writing it down, please remind them that I write down everything for a purpose. Every single mark that I put is for a purpose. So please have them copy with uh, accuracy. Thank you. The last thing that we've got that we're going to be using is our ISN. This is called our Interactive Student Notebook. And students just received a packet from me of 48 pages. It took a while to compile these. It starts off with a table of contents. Uh, I think it's 49 pages, yeah. There are important colored pages that you'll see in here. I want to draw attention to those. Those are the most important thing. For example, if your child is still having trouble with the whole number and decimal operations, this quiz is pink in their packets. And they can work right on this pink paper to show their work. And then they take pictures of their work and send it in to me. But this is also going to stay in their ISN. It's a part of the three ring binder hole punched section. So lots of good things happening with your children. I really appreciate greatly the chance to teach your children. I want to make sure that you feel at ease and you know what's happening. And I thought I paused it for a second. And that everybody is working together as a team to help your child succeed. If there's ever an assignment that your child doesn't do so well on, they will be able to do something to fix it. They'll either redo the work or they'll get some academic feedback from me or from another colleague of mine, and then they can turn it in again. It will take me a little while to transfer grades from Google Classroom into ARIES, which is the Homelink program where you can see things, but you can always look on both to see how your child is doing. And if your child is struggling, please have them set up a time to meet with me. Happy to do it. Normally during the school year, I'm doing homework clubs. And so uh, during this time, we'll just set up a time that helps everyone feel more confident and successful.
Thank you so much. I really enjoy teaching your child and all the children that I've taught, taught thousands now, many, many wonderful members of our community I've, lucky, I've been lucky enough to teach. I am going to ask you to watch the two videos from Joe Bowler. One is on a growth mindset and how the brain actually is proven to be able to learn anything you choose to want to learn. And the other, looking at my notes, the other is about how mistakes help your brain grow. So I'm going to attach these to the um, back to school night information. So I want you to look and see how errors are corrected and how Joe Bowler is helping uh, the math community revolutionize math teaching so that your child can learn to whatever level he or she would like to learn. Thanks so much. Take care. Look forward to talking with you. Bye-bye.